All right, I'm Matt here for Tools today. Let's go over the Milwaukee website and check out the new Milwaukee pipeline tools. I'm actually excited about this. So let's just dive right into it. Let's check out the new tool. They have a new M18 compact pipe threader with one key kit. So the one key pretty much is Bluetooth technology that's in the tool that you could actually put on your phone and you could check the tool out, see what it does. And there's also more than more stuff than that, but we're not gonna get too much into one key right now. All right, so this is a kit. This goes for, wait, no pricing. What do you reckon? No pricing. I wonder how much this is going to cost. All right, so as you can see that this is a kit. This is the M18 Fuel Compact Pipe Fitter with one key with half to one and a quarter inch compact NPT forged aluminum die heads. And so, yeah, and that's the kit itself. I guess it comes with a rapid charger, two, is that eight amp hour batteries or six amp hour batteries? Two eight amp hour batteries, 48 11-1880. Uh, uh, it's a, it's not a bad looking kit. That really is like that's one thing I will give Milwaukee. They are majorly branching out into their into their stuff. They really are. They're they're making some darn good stuff. And they're making a lot of them. All right. Next, we have a M eighteen two hundred foot mid uh, mid stiff pipeline inspection system. Of course, no prices. All right. So as you can see, this just comes with a two hundred uh, foot hose. And some attachments. I've never had to really do this stuff. I didn't get into this. I never got really into plumbing this much to where I actually require that. Of course, this is gonna be a plumber's dream. Looks like it looks like a good tool. Septic stuff, you know, like it's seriously, it's Milwaukee makes some darn good stuff. They they really do. And they also have a 325 foot uh, stiff pipeline inspection. All right, the M18 Fuel 6.5-inch plunge track saw. Everyone's been waiting for this, but Ryobi came out with one first. Power to cut uh, power to cut solid woods, over 90% dust collection, portable precision finish quality cuts. Let's look at the specs of this really quick. 6.5-inch uh, for the blade size. Doesn't give any other... Really? No other specs on that? It's brushless. That's bogus. You got, they really need to show the specs on these because people are going to buy it just because it says Milwaukee. So I was like, why not just put the specs on? This, come, this does come in a kit. And the kit includes... It looks like... Uh, let's see if I click on that. If You can't even make it bigger. A rapid charger, a Milwaukee Extra Large Packout, the track saw, and I don't know what... I don't know what battery that is. I, I Let's assume it's an 8 amp hour battery. Uh, they're really not giving a lot of information on these, which is sort of bogus. They really should. But everyone's ex excited about this track saw. You're going to be able to buy it, a uh, kit with it as well, which I think is cool. All right, next, there's the M12 Fuel Orbital Detail Sander, which this is going to be fantastic for corners or if you're doing something round and you... you so, yeah, like that, I, I could totally see this being very compact. The question I have for this is how much does it vibrate in, in your hand? Obviously, a four speed settings up there. 4K, a 14,000 to 4K sp uh, speed. I wish they would specify that. All right, but as you can see right here, like this uh, does look like a good precision tool that you could use for the small stuff. You know, obviously, you wouldn't use this for like thir like 10 hours a day, but this will get the little stuff like by the door door frames or the edges of stuff just if you need a quick buzz like done instead of whipping out a big tool two times more faster traditional sander they can't really prove that more you can't really prove if something sands something faster because a lot of there's a lot of variables 1.5 orbit diameter it's a nice looking tool though it really is hey guys that's the point of this video we're gonna take a good deep look into each of these tools these are these are some darn good looking tools over here. All right, next let's do the M18 dual battery blower. The model number for this is 284-20. M18 or wait, is that the single battery or dual battery? Looks like a single battery. No, it looks like dual battery. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's a dual battery. So, te so the the real question is, will this run on one battery? If it runs on one battery, then it's 18 volt. But if it requires two batteries, then technically it's 36 volt. I like that speed selector up there. That's nice. Let's see, 600 CFM, 145 miles per hour, providing the ability to take the demanding, read more, the demanding applications like clearing wet leaves. Yeah, which honestly, guys, the Ryobi Whisperer is a very powerful uh, leaf blower. It, the 40 volt Whisperer, it is a very powerful leaf blower. This is going to be nice to add to your arsenal if you use all the, if you use pretty much mostly Milwaukee stuff. It's not too shabby, not too shabby at all. All right, next we have the M12 Fuel 16 gauge variable speed nibbler. Now I'm not a, uh, I never really needed to use a nibbler. I just use shear cutters. But uh, back in my day, back in the 90s, uh, back in the late 90s, early 2000s. But yeah, that's for a, for a 12 volt tool, that is gonna be a very handy tool to have. Model number of, the, of this is 2476-20. Says it's coming soon. Let's see, this does 18 gauge stainless steel and 12 gauge aluminum or M, uh, our M12 fuel 16 gauge variable, variable speed nibbler has the power to perform in heavy applications such as cutting up to 22 gauge spiral duct seams. That's gonna be useful. That's a, that's a nifty looking tool. It looks like it has a, a catch bag too. Two LED lights up there. Quick, I wish the, I wish this was a quick release lock, but it's a butterfly, butterfly nut. Yeah, doing a circle with a nibbler is easy. It's looking, it looks good though. It really does. It looks good. The Milwaukee's coming out with some nice stuff. They really are. I'm glad that they're expanding their their products. Oh. So, all right, this is 2.7 pounds, and the length of it is 10.75 uh, inches. Five-year warranty. Yeah, it doesn't say, it doesn't say the specs on that, which that's not cool. That's not cool. Oh well, we'll find out in time. All right, so next let's do the M12 Fuel half-inch drill driver. Hopefully, this has specs. Model, no, the model number for this is 3503-20. It is the power state brushless motor delivers the most power and the capability to perform the widest variety of applications and high speed, unrivaled subcompact performance. You know, I love it that everyone that I love it that all companies say most powerful. That is hilarious that they say that. All right, but it does look like a good tool. I like that uh, half-inch fully metal chuck. I can tell that LED light on the underneath the the clutch. Two speed settings. Look at that. It's a, it, it is a sexy looking tool. I like that. It looks good. It is a nice looking tool. All right, so let's see the specifications on this. What's the weight? Oh, this one has uh, 400 foot pounds of torque. Wow, that is a lot for a 12 volt tool, for a 12 volt drill driver. Uh, 1,500, uh, 1,550 RPMs. Power state, I'm actually interested on seeing how that is with the new power, power state technology. I like that. No reviews on it yet. It says be the first to review this product because no one had not many people have this yet. All right, so one ship auger and high speed, increased capability of the drill driver, larger holes. We'll put that to the test. All right, so up to thirty-five percent quicker drilling times. I see now when it when they when companies say thirty-three percent faster, I wonder what they're going against because normally what co all companies do, they'll take their latest and greatest, then they'll do it against like a a drill that came out like ten years ago. So we'll see. Well, I can't wait to test this out, see how it is. 
I'm hoping I'm hoping to get these uh, whenever I can. Let's do the hammer drill. I'm wondering what the beats per second is. These tools are sexy. They are. The model number for the hammer drill is 34 dash, uh, sorry, 3404 20. And this also comes in a kit with a 4 amp hour and a 2 amp hour or 1.5, a regular charger and a bag. No prices on that. Yeah, 2 amp hour. All right, so like, unfortunately, this does not come with uh, the new uh, high output 12 volt battery. That should. The new tool should come, should come out with it a high output battery. Let's see what the specs are. Like I said, I'm curious on what the what the beats per minute is on this. Same 400 inch pounds, same specs as the standard drill driver. 25,500 beats per minute. Not too shabby. That's not bad at all for a 12 volt tool. It is not. All right, let's check out the next one. Oh, I'm ex this is what I'm excited about. That's the, it, it looks cool, but the only thing I have an issue with this is how can you really beat the Milwaukee Fuel impact driver? How could you make a product better than that? Like, you can't. I don't think that the new... We're going to put it to the test. But the Milwaukee Fuel Impact Driver is a fantastic impact driver. How can you make one better? Because like every other company's impact driver gets dominated by, by that Milwaukee. So can Milwaukee really make a better one? Or did they actually make a weaker one? We will find out in the future. And the one thing I'm curious... Uh, one thing I'm worried about this... This, to me, this looks more like the, the M18 Stubby. It looks like the M18 Stubby. This looks like a bigger, uh, it, it looks bigger than the previous, mod, than the previous impact driver. Because it, it, the, the front just looks fatter. But we will see. Three LEDs on the front. Uh, I'm not sure how many ball bearings are in that quarter, in that collet. Those LEDs don't look bright, though. Too bad that's not a ring. That would be awesome if that was a ring, uh, a ring light there. Three speed settings with... What's that? I do not know what this is. Self-tapping, speed one, two, and three. And I do not know what this is. What that extra button is. I wonder if that's a light button? Or is that your reverse? No, the the four reverses right there. Let's see if we got a picture of it. Yeah, that this this looks bigger than the previous model. It does. It looks like the stubby. I can't wait to test this out though. I cannot wait. Let's look at the specs. See up to 30% faster against what? Your previous model, the, the, no, the 3,900 RPM for this, uh, 2,000 inch-pounds of torque, 4,400 impacts per minute, and what is the weight? 3.8 pounds. They gave a lot of specs on this one. 2,000 inch-pounds of torque. I can't wait to test this. It does look cool, but I seriously have a hard time believing that they beat their previous model. I do. The model for this is 2953-20, and as a kit, it is 2953-22. I don't know about you guys, if you guys have trouble with the Milwaukee website, but this website needs a little work. I watch YouTube videos in here, and zero issue. All right, the M18, it comes with a hard case, regular charger, and two 5-amp hour batteries. No pricing again. All right, so let's uh, continue. All right, guys, so we are going to continue this in another episode. I do not want this to be like a 30-minute video. So this was part one, and part two will be coming uh, tomorrow, which is July 26th. And so that is what we're going to do for tomorrow's video. It's outside of the schedule, but I don't want this to be a 30, 40 minute video. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.